you know, when you string together some wins or you have a nice little run, uh, you know, it's a combination of both hitting and pitching. You know, I think, you know, the last two nights have sort of signified that with Herman's performance and Kyle's performance today and then the way we swung the bats. So, uh, and that's, you know, sort of like we did for the greater part of two months to, you know, April, and May, and, and June, part of June. But that's what, th that's what happens in this game, you know, putting both together. So we're, we've pitched well, you know, of late from our rotation, and we've swung the bats. So. Well, again, we'll, you know, just, it's why we play every day to find out. And it's important to keep pitching and, and giving ourselves a chance to, to win from the pitching side. You know, Antonio has that responsibility tomorrow. But we do feel good about where we are as a group swinging the bats. You know, we have some guys starting to, you know, climb a little bit and have better at bats. You know, you can go through them all. I mean, uh, Trev and Carlos and... Uh, you know, Nolan and DJ have, have raised their numbers. I mean, their batting average numbers. Uh, you know, Charlie has gone up a tick. So we got we got some good things going offensively. You mentioned pregame that uh, heavy strike throw. That said, did you like how the offense came out? Well, we knew he was going to throw strikes. You know, we, you know, the first couple innings, you know, both guys pitched well, held the other teams, uh, other other club down. But you know, we stayed on it. You know, we stayed on it, and then we then we broke through. You know, a couple of big swings, obviously. But you know, I liked our approach all day. I think we knew what we had going in from Nova. You know, we had a nice plan, nice approach. We knew what he was going to th throw. If there's a little bit of a, a little bit of history with our guys with him, so uh, we had good at bats. And you know, when he made mistakes, uh, we made him pay. But how helpful is it? <clears throat> Well, you know, Hanny does a great job. You know, that's, you know, part of the reason why, you know, we signed him when he was let go by the Phillies. You know, we thought that he could add, you know, that presence to a to a young group of catchers. And, uh, you know, we had, we had him targeted a little bit in spring training if things didn't work out in Philadelphia. But, uh, Ed, he does a nice job. You know, I, I saw him from the other side for years when he was with the Reds. And I thought that uh, the way he handled their staff, the way he caught a game, uh, I thought was impressive. Uh, and, uh, you know, our homework on him, uh, you know, showed that, that, you know, he's good on a club with, you know, the ability to handle a pitching staff and get the most out of him. So I think we've seen that, uh, especially with Kyle, you know, even going back to the first uh, first day that he caught uh, our couple, uh, you know, when he uh, when he joined us in San Diego, he caught Kyle uh, in his first game. He homered, but caught well. And from that point on, he's done a nice job just – with all our guys, so uh, you know, he's a he's a very he's a very good veteran presence, uh, you know, not only for our pitching staff, for our clubhouse. Yeah, I, th I think so. He's a ground ball pitcher. His ground ball rate is high. You know, he's got. We've talked about it a lot about his action down in the hitting area, all pitches, whether it's the fastball, whether it's the slider, whether it's the the, the other breaking pitch that he throws and the change. He creates top hit uh, action uh, because his stuff is lively down in the zone. So, I mean, he has the ability to pitch up and in at times, and he's got to do that to keep him honest up. But, you know, his bread and butter is down, and we saw that, we saw that today. You know, the big out, you know, the ground ball to short with Mercer with the bases loaded uh, with two outs in the fourth uh, was, you know, a, a, you know, it should be a typical Kyle Freeland out against a right-handed hitter. You know, a ground ball, heavy action to the left side. Uh, you know, we saw that a lot today. Nolan made, you know, Nolan had some action. Trevor had some action. So that's a typical Kyle game. Yeah, we're hoping for 31 and 14 uh, tomorrow. Uh, Charlie's a good player. Uh, he tries to get hits. Every time he goes up, he's tried, he tries to get a hit. When he gets a hit, uh, that means the guys behind him are hitting with guys on base. So uh, he's having a good year. There's no doubt about that.
He's been an all-star. He's getting hits. I think he leads the. Uh, I think he leads the league in uh, multi-hit games. So uh, we need him to continue. Was he just late on that pitch? That no, no balls away, and he just no. That's all field hitting like we talk about. Uh, no, that ball's out over the plate, and he just and he barreled it that way. Uh, no, same with Reynolds. I mean, the Reynolds home run the other way was squared up. It was up out over the plate. And guys with strength, you know, they hit the ball just a little bit back, and it, it goes the opposite way. Yep, yep. And again, uh, laying off for the most part, laying off balls, take uh, laying off balls, swinging and strikes. <clears throat> I think the first walk that uh, started the inning that we scored some runs. I think that was an 0-2 to 4-2. Uh, that's a good at bat. He had another one. Uh, I think where he got back to the full count line, line the ball to short. But Trevor's at-bats collectively, collectively have been much better.